Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is AJ and today I'm going to be reviewing Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. I do want to let you know that there are spoilers ahead so if you haven't read this book and you uh, don't really want to see those please back out of my video at this time. If you want to go ahead and just push on through then let's go ahead and get this started. Now if you do see me look down below that is where my notes are and I do want to let you know that I did borrow this book from my public library and so um, if you see me cover up parts of the book that is because that is where it's very bold and tells you what my library is just for privacy. <laughs> so this is what the um, cover of the book looks like. Um, I really do enjoy it. I think it's very fitting for the type of book that it is. And then um, on the back of the book it just has a direct quote from the book. Now this is about the two teenage siblings. Um, Logan, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, it's L-O-C-H-A-N, and his younger, one year younger sister, Maya, and how they uh, realize that they're in love with each other and they have to go through the struggles of falling in love with your sibling. And so, moving into further into the review, uh, the Suzuma did a really good job of building uh, the world of this book. Now this book is in first person, which kind of had me struggling at first. Um, but uh, it's set in London. I can't quite make the year because of the way she doesn't describe like their clothing, except for the fact that um, they go to um, some kind of public school that requires um, them to wear a specific type of uniform. So um, where I live in the United States, that's not really common unless you go to a private school. But anyways, I digress from that. And so you really don't get the sense of the years, other than it's kind of relatively newish. Um, but they don't. She doesn't really go into deep details about that. Now, Logan is the Logan is the eldest, and he is 18 years old. And him and Maya have three other siblings. They are. Um, it goes by Kit, who is a boy, and he is a preteen, kind of 13ish. And then you have uh, Tiffin. He is, I would say, about a third grader. And then you have uh, Willa. She's kind of like a kindergartner. And they also have um, sharing with them in their horrible experiences that they go through is their mother. Now, their mother is 45, who likes to act like she is 22 and does not have children. And so she likes to stay out at night and party and drinks. And um, you learn very early on in the book that she's a raging alcoholic and that there has been some um, domestic and emotional abuse that she carries on because of what happened to her marriage that she and her husband let happen. And um, it just has devastated the children and you can really see where they have all kind of fallen in from that abuse and that abandonment from their father. He was not in the book at all other than um, slightly referenced and that it's only in a bad emotional time when their mother is using that against Logan. Now, Logan is very kind of like athletic build, but he's not actually part of a team. He suffers from anxiety, severe social anxiety, which several times throughout the book, you can, you will see him have kind of like mini anxiety attacks. And um, with Maya, she's very war, war, <laughs> well-rounded and very positive, and she's just trying to help look in, take care of their siblings because of the way that their mom is basically neglecting them and trying to abandon them throughout the entirety of the book. Now, for the relationship between Logan and um, Maya, you see really where Logan starts thinking of Maya as his equal, and then he's kind of starting to see um, that she completes him, and he, he literally says that. he. If he didn't have her, he wouldn't know how to do certain things and keep the family in check, the uh, three younger siblings. And this comes to head when him and Kit have a fight. It is, you see it building from the beginning of the book all the way to the time that it happens. And you can see Kit's emotional pain and how Logan feels like that he, that Kit is ashamed of him and resents him and hates him. And he doesn't really understand until later on in the book that it has really more to do with the fact is, is that he just needed to reconnect with his brother. Now, moving to where they, Matt and Logan have their first kiss. It is a very emotional, um, it is a kind of like a fighting hated kiss, hated heated kiss that happens because of Maya getting a date to front, 
she's getting a date because she got matched up from her best friend, Francie, and with another one of the guys from her grade. And she comes back and she had only really done it because she had wanted to see what Logan's reaction would be. And they end up getting into a fight and they end up kissing and um, making out a little bit before they're like, oh my gosh, what just happened? And then you have this whole time period where they're trying to figure out what to do because they're like, I really under, I really feel like you complete me. Excuse me. You really complete me. We have, we're a good match. I now understand why trying to go with other people doesn't work out because I'm really ultimately in love with you. You're the other half of me is what they're thinking. And so you have um, their first fight because Maya, as um, a young girl, she is very, she's wanting what her friends have and she understands that it's wrong but it feels right to her and so she's trying to test the waters with Logan and see what he ultimately feels and how they want to move forward if and how in whatever way that they can and so either it is to move back and take it take many steps back and pretend it never happened or to move forward well ultimately Logan wants to move forward but he is 18 years old and he understands what's going on. He hates himself for it. And he does a lot of research and all he's finding are these things where it is saying that it is hypothetically illegal in the UK to be in a relationship with your sibling. So he is trying so hard to fight it and they have this horrible, horrible fight. And um, this fight stirs into a a huge anxiety attack that Logan has at their school and um, this brings them closer together because they finally decide that they are going to be together they're not they're going to not have sex but they're going to be together in in other ways and then when they get older and then when the kids get older they will finally be together go somewhere or change their name and just be a couple and um, so they kind of have like this fooling around kind of euphoric kind of uh, way where they're always where they don't do anything when the kids are in the house they always wait till they're away to do something this next part all like kind of like I uh, came out it like blindsided me when this happened because of course when you're euphoric you must come down to earth and so they do it comes to a crashing halt right at their first time together where for some reason out of the blue Suzuma has Kit be the one that betrays them and tells their mother who calls the police on them and what I found was so confusing is how did Kit know because Throughout the book they did not show any kind of closeness or anything out of the ordinary when the kids were in the house they always did something when the kids were not in the house and so I was like does Kit like have like a camera in the house or something here what what happened and so there was no real explanation as to how he was the one who knew other than he was the one panicking and freaking out because his mother called the police and then Logan had this really horrible idea as to how to explain to the police officers why him and his sister were having sex. And that, I was like, that is not a great idea. I applaud Maya for saying, that is not a great idea. Let's be adults. And her idea was like, let's be adults and just say, hey, we're in love with each other. So that's why we were having sex. We were having sex not the very horrible <laughs> reason that he comes up with and forces her um, to agree to because she thinks that it, she thinks because he's telling her this telling her that if she says or does it a certain way he won't go to prison he'll just be kind of like in jail for a couple months and then he'll get out and then they can like be together well, that ends up not happening. We have a very unfortunate event because of where he suffers from that anxiety and um, it leads him to a path that has him ending his life and 
the book goes into an epilogue that kind of, I was like, wait, what? What are you about to do? Because she's standing in her room and she's, she's getting ready to, uh, she's getting ready to go see Logan's grave with the children and the funeral. And she is thinking about how she is going to take the children to the funeral and then take them to the park where Logan and her um, went and shared their private time well, at least one private time throughout the book there and she's going to commit suicide just for herself she's not gonna hurt anyone else but she's gonna take the kids there let them play and then she's gonna kill herself well she finally rationalizes with um, Logan's voice in her head that he died um, so that she could have a life um, not condemned by their love and so uh, she decides that she's just going to dedicate her life to taking care of her siblings because that's exactly what Logan would have done if he had still decided to um, stay alive. And so, um, this book was really, it was really emotional and very heavy and um, it wasn't like some of the other incest books that I have ever read about romance. they usually very like heated, kind of like a Harlequin book. This one really really did a um, good job of explaining how it could be extremely emotional. The author also talks about how when she was writing the book that it was extremely hard to write for her as well because it was emotional for her. And I do give this book a four out of five stars. Now um, it was kind of, it's kind of middle to sl wait sorry slow to middle um, space. It is quite a big book. Um, it's about this thick and um, she does try to build the momentum and she does a good job. I really do enjoy this. I like it. I give it four out of five stars and I would recommend it to you to read, especially if you've never read a book like this because this is very, this this was amazing. I really did like this book and I do recommend it to you <laughs> and I hope that you have enjoyed this review and I hope that you have a great rest of your day and until next time, bye!